welcome to this week's edition of The Link. We continue to give you information you can use in uh, your business. And tonight we are discussing business design. I don't know if you have heard of it or you have been doing it without knowing, but we're adding meaning to it tonight. And tonight my guest is Ronald Angiro, who is from the Cafero Foundation, and they specialize in business designs and redesigns. Welcome, Ronald. Thank you very much, Sam. So let's go straight to the uh, first real issue. What really does it mean, the business design? What, what is it? I'm, I'm thinking about cloth designs or shoe design. Now we're talking about business design. What is that? Okay, that's a very good question, Sam. And uh, let me give you just a background as to why we're here and yeah. we talk about business design. Mm. Now, uh, we are a foundation that is really focused at uh, inspiring innovation and enabling communities and businesses and individuals to grow through innovation. Mm. So uh, we do this through learning, through three foundations, learning, incubating, and funding. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the reason as to why we're here is business design. And you asked a very good question. What is business design? Yeah. Is it the fabric? Is it the clothing? Is it um, whatever you're wearing? Mm. Well, uh, business design is very similar to actually what you have just said. Mm. But uh, many companies do this without knowing that they're going through a business design. Mm -hmm. Business design is really the process through which you lead, uh, the process you take as a company to lead to your business model. Mm -hmm. And it focuses mainly on your customers, your consumers. It is you sitting as a company and saying, how do I redesign or how do I recreate what I have so that I can always be ahead of the times? Mm -hmm. And you will agree with me that right now everything is changing. The way you interacted with your, or the way you interact with your children ten years ago, and the way you interact with them now is different. Absolutely, and it is affecting every sphere of life. Life is quickly changing, mm. and sadly, most of our businesses or the companies do not see this. They continue with the same model they had twenty years they ago. They remain static. Yes, they mm. remain static with the same models they had twenty years ago, and expect a different outcome now. And this is why we have big companies just appear and disappear mm. out of nowhere. And these smaller ones who are paying attention to this seem to rise. Seem to keep rising and rising and rising. Mm. So uh, business design is about paying attention to these things. We then come and sit down with you and then pay attention to these small things and guide your business, your product, your service, and define its path and say, okay, this is where you should go. This yeah. is what your consumer is looking for, and this is how best you can get there. So Ronald, we're talking about uh, prospects for business growth, and some mm. people may not be growing, mm. and yet they desire to grow, or they are being outcompeted. So now mm. the question, mm. when can I take a decision to do a redesign mm. of my business, having understood what design is? Okay, uh, that's just another very good question. There is no right time, there's no wrong time actually, to, t to take on a business design. Mm. Because even companies at the very top are constantly looking out for how best can we improve, how can we keep making this better. Yeah. But I'll give you two instances under which you could uh, make a change. Mm. One is if you're looking to grow your business. Yes, your business is slow and static, but you want to grow it to another level. Mm. This is where business design comes in. Because it's not enough to say, I want to grow, for instance, to Nairobi, I want to take my business from Uganda to Nairobi, and you just pick your product. Though it's doing well in Uganda, you can't just pick it and take it to Nairobi. Or from Kampala to Mbarara. Or from, that's also a very good example. <laughs> yeah. We're probably looking too far, but <laughs> yeah. or Kampala to Mbarara. Yeah. You need, this is where business design comes in. We mm. sit down with you and say, where do you want to go? Mbarara, fine. What is the product we're taking there? This mm. and this. Mm. Then we, s we go down into the nitty gritty. What does it do? Can it work there? What do those people need? You know, and it goes down to something as little as changing probably even the size and the mm -hmm. price of your product. Mm -hmm. And these are things that are overlooked. And many companies just go and ask themselves, why isn't it working? I'll give you an example of a company called uh, Whirlpool. Yeah. Whirlpool is an international company that makes uh, washing machines. Mm. So they came up with uh, an idea to create washing machines for, for uprising markets. Something cheap and yet very usable. Mm. And they focused on Africa, China, they focused on Brazil and the focus on India. Yeah. And in a few of these countries, these machines, these washing machines were selling very fast. Because of pricing. Because the pricing that. was perfect. They, they looked at those people and it was working out. However, in India, the price kept dropping and it was just becoming a disaster. Mm. So they sat down and said, what exactly is happening in India? And after a bit of research, they realized that the clothes that are used in India are very, the saris they wear are very light, mm. they're simple clothes. And the machines they had created had a one millimeter gap 
between its axle and the main uh, spinning part of the machine, yeah? yeah? And it was just one millimeter. But that one millimeter kept getting the clothes in mm. and it would shred the clothes. Mm. So it was resented in India. And if it wasn't for business design, they wouldn't have discovered that and rectified it. Mm. Because right now the product is selling. So it can be that small thing which may not apply in your environment, but somewhere else it would apply. So yes, one is scalability when you're looking to grow to your grow, business. Yes. But two, um, the time to do business design would be when there's competition. Mm. You could be a market leader, mm. but then something starts to eat into your competition. Someone else is coming to eat into your competition. Yeah. This is the time for you to rethink. It's yeah? a thinking process. It is a thinking process. Mm. It is a very serious thinking process. Mm. You have to rethink your design, rethink your model. What is not happening? What should I change? And like we said a few moments ago, it could be something as simple as changing the size of your product yeah. to match your competitor. Yeah, let's say it's a service. Mm. What are you going to be changing now? Colors? Yes, uh, yes. For example. That's, that's the thing. Uh, with a service, let's uh, talk about, for instance, uh, which industry. We, t we could look at the food business. Yes. Yeah? You have mm. your restaurant yeah. and you're, you're doing well. But then again, if you pay attention to the times, you realize that it's no longer enough to just sit in your restaurant. Mm. We have people who just pick up their phones and order food and it's delivered to them. And that's increasing. You know? And that is increasing. Everyone is starting to do that. Mm. So if you stay in the old way of doing things, you will wake up one day and find no one needs your service anymore. And it's not because you're not good. Most people think that your business fails because you're bad. No. Mm. You could be the best at what you're doing, but if the times change and you do not change your model with the times, you will be left out. So, what is critical? If I come to Cafero Foundation and they say, okay, guys, I want to, you know, maybe grow or improve, the competition is eating me. Mm. Um, what's, what must I bring to the table? You have, um, that's a very good question. You have to bring to the table, one, what you want to achieve. Mm. Yes? Because that is our main goal. We have to sit down and determine what do you want to achieve. What do you want? Yeah. Yes. And if you determine what do you want to achieve, we're going to ask you a series of very tough questions. Mm. Some which are very simple, most of which are actually very simple. Yeah. But the things that most people overlook. Yes? Because sometimes, most times you realize that companies are actually looking outward at the people who are outside as the problem. And in our experience, we have noted that most times the problem is internal. Is inside. It's so inside. that means that it's critical for me when I come also mm. to be willing to face I some yes. problems internally, yes. Yes. which you might be seeing yes. internally. Yes, that mm. is true. And you have to come with an objective mind. Because mm. if you're looking to grow, you do not come with a specific mind. Because if you come with your specific plan, mm. your plan has probably already failed. That's why we're here. So it's about us discussing and saying all cards on the table. This is where we stand. How do we grow from here? Let's move on together. Mm. What must be a good what must a good business design therefore have? I'm I'm uh, seeing we are sitting on a table. Yes. Now I'm drawing my expectations. Yes. What do I expect? Key things mm. for a good business design. A very good business design should one be able to achieve the goal that you set out for yes. it to achieve. Yes? Mm. Two, it should have the ability to actually have the actual product. Mm. For instance, um, a good design should always be prototyped. Okay. We cannot sit down at the table and talk about this new product you will have and not give you a tangible product to mm. see. It's not imagination. No, it's, not, imagine. it's, no, longer, ima it's mm. no longer imagination. You mm. have to see and then we take this product to the market and validate. Does it work? Test it. Does it yes, test it thoroughly. Does it work? Mm. What do we change? Yeah. What do we add? That is the process in which we go through. You find out and say, okay, fine, this needs to be done. Mm. How do we add it? How do we change it? Okay. Yes? And then ultimately, there will be scalability. Mm. Yes? to to grow mm. because of that. And most importantly, your design should be user-centered. Market. It is human-centered. Market in mind. Ultimately, the product is human-centered. Your service, it should be human-centered. OK. Uh, as we wind up, um, mm. I know you're going to have an engagement, a serious one. Yes. Coming soon, yes. I think, in October. What's mm. going to happen? People are listening and thinking, OK, mm. how do I? OK. Yes, on the 15th to the 19th of October, mm. we have our very first business design week. And this is going to be at our design hub in Muyenga. Okay. Uh, we're going to have uh, lots of experts in the field of business design. We have people coming in from all sides of the world mm. to come and help companies, you know, learn how to design their businesses, come and help focusing on businesses and how can we design our models, how can we redefine Being our models. Being structured. Yes, mm. how can we be structured? What 
path do we have to take as a business? And this is going to be a very special event. We're having, um, we have, we even, we're even going ahead to have um, different donors, different funders, different investors yeah. coming in from all over the world. We have people from the US, from Switzerland, different people coming in to look at these businesses and say, mm. okay, fine. How do you scale it? How do you grow it? How do we fund you? How do we help you? Mm. And it's it's a very exciting uh, activity that's going to happen. We're very excited as a as Can a anyone come? <laughs> and uh, and uh, no. somebody says, um, uh, <laughs> I have um, a chain of shops. Huh. Well, to cool one should I come also? That's a very good question. Yeah. And um, what I'll say is for this particular one, yeah. no, not everyone can come. Okay, so who can come? However, we have, uh, you can reach us on our Facebook page at Kafera Foundation, okay. on our Twitter handle at Kafera Foundation, and we will be able to guide you because this is the first of its kind. We're going mm -hmm. to have many others, and right now we're focusing on mid-sized to large companies okay. for this particular instance. Like uh, NTV? Yes, like definitely, <laughs> like NTV, so okay. we hope to see you here. Oh, okay. And we're looking to grow it from that perspective. Okay. However, we're going to constantly communicate um, what, we're, what is happening, how we're going about it, and we believe in having an actual impact. Mm. So we're going to actually also display what has happened, uh, the products which have come out, the services which have been improved, because you will not believe me until you see, until you see. what can actually happen. Okay, Ronald, our time mm. has run out. Um, viewers, did you know that you can, you didn't know design has to do with the companies also? Well, these concepts have been around, and there are people now who are specializing into, in those areas to help you fine-tune your design to the end that your business stays afloat mm -hmm. but also grows even if you think I'm small I can manage think about design that was the link tonight